give the floor to a distinguished representative of the Russian Federation. Distinguished Mr. Chair, at the outset, I would like to join those delegations who have expressed gratitude to you and your delegation for your work in the post of chair. The Russian delegation attaches great importance to the administrative and budgetary aspects of peacekeeping, precise budget planning, the rational use of resources, the efficient management of UN peacekeeping operations. We note with regret the absence for five years now of a General Assembly resolution on cross-cutting issues of peacekeeping, the cross-cutting resolution. At the same time, we note with satisfaction that the General Assembly has approved a number of instructions in resolutions on the financing of PKOs last year. We are convinced that these wordings, these formulations, could form the basis of a resolution on cross-cutting issues this year. A pragmatic approach would allow the committee to reach consensus. We expect that member states will at last be able also to agree on closed PKOs. We trust that all financial obligations of the Secretariat to troop contributing countries will be properly executed and that the unspent balance will be returned to member states. We trust that the pursuit of additional savings should focus on improving the efficiency and accountability of the work of the Secretariat. The main thing is to avoid cuts which could do harm to the implementation of mandates issued by the Security Council. We underscore that when adopting decisions on the approval of appropriations, it's necessary to take into account the characteristics of each PKO. We would also like to confirm our readiness to participate constructively in discussions of the agenda items. At the same time, in response to those delegations that referred to Ukraine, we would like to say the following. Your states have done everything possible to heighten the security threat to our country and are continuing to pour fuel on the fire of this conflict, be it through sanctions or weapons. Your states think that this is advantageous and that it will help resolve the conflict. But it is only making the situation worse, including the situation for the populations of your countries. Thus, in the same manner, your aggressive diplomacy in the Fifth Committee will absolutely not help the Committee. It will only hinder the technical nature of its work. We call upon these delegations to leave, uh, to stay within the bounds of the discussions of the agenda. I'd like to conclude on a positive note. We welcome the fact that we can work in person which demonstrates that this is the most productive uh, method of negotiations. Thank you for your attention. I thank the representative of Russia Federation for his statement. Now I